Hey guys! Hello! Maomio and I are walking towards Totonbori Bridge. We're gonna be eating takoyaki, as well as okonomiyaki, savory Japanese pancakes, and more. Upon entering Totonbori Street, we are greeted with many restaurant options. Wowza! A massive moving crab, and a dragon popping in and out of a building. The dragon holds a bowl of ramen. Below is a never-ending stream of steam. Holy yay, Spider-Man is climbing into a shell. Do you see what I see? Street food! I thought the steam was coming out of the statue. However, surprise! It's the chestnut man. That's a lot of steam for a couple of chestnuts. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. This stall sells assorted tempura, including fried shrimp, asparagus, scallop, pumpkin, and fish. The sign above the food truck reads, the second delicious melon bread ice cream in the world. The second delicious. Where's the first delicious? While waiting in line, we notice a building similar to a Ferris wheel. Each pod looks like a bottle cap. Later, I learned the Totombori Ferris wheel is an actual ride, which was closed for nine years, but recently reopened. Back to the melon bread. We have multiple choices. The Hokkaido melon sauce is limited to 20 a day. The melon bread by itself is 200 yen. Ready or not. Woohoo! These pieces look like cubes of tofu. Oh, it's nice and warm. It's so squishy! Oh, let's just take a, one of the diamond shapes. Almost is more like a cracker than bread. Kind of like a nilla. Yeah. That's like a bread cracker. There's so much glory on the outside, the exterior skin. So much beauty in the texture. Interior is like your normal bread. You know when you have like white bread? In the summer, with ice cream is great, but as this bread by itself, it's fantastic. Mm. It's mildly sweet. So the main street is open air, but every so often, there's another street. As you see, they have a ceiling. Turns out there's another dragon ramen shop, which is called Kinryu, and we're gonna try it. How can we not? It's got a dragon. And we have a queue. You put your order in through a vending machine. We have semi indoor seating, also ones on the outside. We don't need the extra pork, we need this one, right? Yeah, that sounds good. We got our ticket and a change. When we first got in line, there's a lot of empty seats, but after our order and we sat down, all occupied. Things get filled up fast, so if you see an empty seat and you're hungry, you just go for it. If there are no seats, you just stand up around the kitchen. It looks like we could put sides of kimchi. It looks like two kinds of kimchi. Okay, the third bowl is garlic. On a scale from one to five flying dragons, how good is this ramen? Oh, I do wonder. Mamio takes the first bite. My hands are freezing. These are the thinner new noodles that I make. I wouldn't travel all the way to Osaka to have these noodles. It's a couple notches better than instant noodles. I'm starting to feel warm already. Let's try some pork. The pork is saltier than the soup, a little bit on the dry side. There's a ramen shop we went to in Tokyo the other day mm -hmm. and you were saying you prefer this one more than that one. Yeah, but uh, it says lots of grease, grease on the top, but uh, it's better. Next door is another ramen shop. This one's called Ramen Shiten no Totombori. Alright, where's round three? What's the next thing that's gonna heat our body up? The restaurants here really love to decorate their storefront with huge food. Here's a takoyaki shop with an oversized octopus. Museum set. Uh, I'm wondering, is this a real museum or are they just calling the restaurant a museum? Ooh, he's fast! Wow! There's a museum down there! The first thing I taste is the sauce. That is mayonnaise! In the center, there's a piece of octopus. Around the octopus, is a little wet. 
They give it to you round, but once you take a bite, it loses its form. We're gonna clear the plate. I just noticed they put extra sauce on the side. What's the flavor of that sauce? Sweet and salty. The steps are quite steep. So hold the rail. Oh, it's not an actual museum. It's just another floor to eat. It's like bar style seating. Another takoyaki shop. We have an egg tart shop. Looks like the Totombori food street continues on the other side of the road. This side of the street is not as vibrant. Wow, wow, wee wow. Check out this hotel. There are big heads with only legs and feet. I love it so much. We reached the end of the road. We're gonna turn back. Mommy, oh, it's cold. I know a spot where we could get savory pancake. I see you, mom. <laughs> Around the corner where we had the ramen is Mizuno, but look at this line. Holy, I think there's like a 30 people. Wow. Forget this queue. Maybe it's worth a wait, but we're cold. We're looking for a place called Hozenji Yokocho Yakizen. It looks like it seats less than 10 people. I am so thankful there is no wait list here, and I adore how this shop is hidden in an alley. Each okonomiyaki is freshly grilled and takes about 15 minutes to make. The famous modanyaki. It's got a special red stamp, so I guess we'll try it. Let's also try the grilled leek okonomiyaki. We have a tray. This is inspiring me to paint. Okonomiyaki weapon. This is what you take into battle. The gentleman next to us watches something on his phone as he demonstrates how to eat the savory pancakes. The famous modanyaki has a white grid drawn with mayonnaise. Noodles hang out like stray strands of hair. The leek okonomiyaki is simpler and likely healthier. It looks kind of like a really thick hash brown. <laughs> mm. The end of that noodle is crunchy, but not like an easily breaking crunch. It's like a slightly chewy crunch. The cabbage is softened because of the heat. How's Mommy O doing on the leaf? Really good. I like it. A lot. What does it taste like? Hot. What? Hot. Hot? It tastes hot. Kind of looks like spaghetti noodles. The top has a lot of flavor. The bottom is on the bland side. So together, it creates a medium flavor. Mm, it smells a little bit like potato. Ooh ha! Ooh ha! Oh ho 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 ho! I say, I couldn't explain. It's <laughs> good. I think I prefer the leek one. The leek okonomiyaki tastes a little bit more earthy. The modern okonomiyaki, it, it tastes a little bit like barbecue sauce. The leek one has no sweetness. Just savory. This one is like cousin to takoyaki. The top is crusted. It has pork on the top. And then when you peel away, it reveals squid. Some of these pieces, it layers off like fish. And we also have onion. All very similar colors. I noticed with the leaf one, there's no noodles inside. We're on the second floor. Thankfully, they accepted credit card. I was surprised. So a lot of restaurants in Japan, they say cash only. A lot of the places we've been to at least. The second floor seems to be reserved for parties of more than two people. For the rest of the evening, we are digesting. Hope you enjoyed munching around Osaka with us. Which food made you drool the most? My personal favorite thing we ate today was a leek okonomiyaki. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset's cold. Toodles, my noodles. I spy Sai. Duty Free Shop Japan. Oh, do they sell out? I'm hungry. My baby's crying. I'm crying. <laughs> I suppose. Woo. It seems that they have a couple of.
couple branches on this street. There was another one like this with a dragon on the front. And over there is a cow. Forever 21. It's Starbucks. Empires, empires. Oh, I want to see the food action, but it's so far away. Okay, I can zoom in a little bit. This is the leek. This is the one with the pork. What I like about sitting in the corner is I don't have to worry about other people's faces showing in the camera. Oh, it seems like this is a smoke-friendly restaurant. Though I don't smell any cigarettes currently. Oh, I think that's right next to the water. Aha, now this what I was looking for. Cold. It's definitely cold. The Kobe beef steak goes for 2,500 yen, about $22 US, making it possibly the most expensive street food I've ever come across. In the meantime, grilled hormone is 600 yen, about $5 US.